it's Mrs. Hart. I'm coming to you live from my kitchen right now where I decided that while I had some time, I would run my own experiment. I'm going to be doing a science fair projects and I decided that I would do one and walk you through it here at home. So I came up with my poster board. This is called the I Wonder Model of Scientific Method. We start with a question and then we do some research, make a hypothesis, do our experiment, and then talk about our results and our conclusion. I was at the store the other day and I saw that there were there were seeds that they were selling at the store and I thought, well, that looks like fun. What if I compared two kinds of flower seeds and came up with an experiment? So my question is, which seed will sprout first, the pansy seed or the petunia seed? So I did some research on pansies and petunias. I came up with some information and I put it on my board. Uh, pansies look like violets. Uh, petunias are very popular. They bloom in the summer. Actually, both flowers bloom in the summer. I gathered all of my materials. Before I do my experiment, however, I'm going to make my hypothesis. So my hypothesis is the petunia seeds will sprout first before the pansy seeds. Now I'm going to do my experiment. I've listed the materials that I'm going to use. I need small plastic containers, a small screwdriver, soil, a scale, pansy seeds, petunia seeds, water, a measuring cup, labels, and a calendar. Okay, so over here I have gathered all of my supplies. I have my pansy seeds on the plate, my container, my measuring cup of water, here's my petunias, uh, my petunia seeds, and my kitchen scale. So I'm going to start off by taking the containers and I'm going to go put soil in the containers. I grabbed this pot from outside in my front yard today. Good soil in it for growing flowers. So I'll put a little bit in there and one, some in this container. I'm going to weigh them out on my scale because when you're doing an experiment, you want to make sure that everything matches except the one thing that you're testing. And that's called the independent variable. My independent variable will be my pansy seed and my petunia seed. My dependent variables are going to be the soil in the cup, the amount of water um, that the containers match. So I'm gonna put the pansy container on the scale and I see that it weighs 28 grams. Let me put my petunia. Oh, look at that, I've matched it perfectly. Both have 28 grams of soil in them. Now the seeds, I don't know if you can see the seeds, the pansy seeds are a little bit bigger. They're still kind of tiny, but they're way bigger than the petunia seeds. Look at the petunia seeds. You can almost hardly see them. Okay, so I'm going to try to very carefully press four of the pansy seeds into my soil. I'm going to cover them up with the dirt. Now I'm going to try to get these very tiny petunia seeds in the soil also. I have measured out half an ounce or one tablespoon of water in my measuring cup and I'm going to add that to my soil for each one. I followed all of my steps for planting the seeds and then right now I'm going to be here at step number seven where it says to observe both containers every day and record my observations on a calendar. So I've attached a calendar to my poster um, for March, April, and May. I know that on the back of the seed package, it says that the seeds take 10 to 12 days to germinate. That means um, in order to sprout. So I'm going to watch them every single day. And on my calendar, like for today, March 18th, right now, I'm going to add like two little container pictures, okay? And one is gonna be petunia. I'm gonna put a P-E-T for petunia and a P-A-N for pansy. And right now, all there is is dirt, so nothing's growing yet. And that's my observation for today. What I will find out, hopefully in 10 to 12 days, which one is going to be sprouting first. And then I will write up what I have discovered, my results or my conclusion. One of the seeds will sprout first and I will fill in the blanks. The blank seed sprouted before the blank seed. 
and this did or did not match my hypothesis. Since I don't know what's going to happen yet, I can't obviously write up my result, but I got the sticky note ready when that happens. Also, I've got a sticky note that says real world connection, because at the end of this, I'm going to make a connection to why this would be important to somebody who might want to grow flowers in their garden. And then what happens is after I do my experiment, usually there's another question that you have. So I already came up with another question. After I see which one sprouts first, then I would like to know which plant is gonna bloom first. So that's gonna take me through my I wonder model again, as I make a prediction as to which plant will have that flower bloom first. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope this helps you. Maybe you can do an experiment at home and then come back to school and tell us all about it. Thanks. Bye.